What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Dup. It's your boy, Ross. We in the Clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video today, you feel me? All right, we're going to check out the time Goku and Vegeta stop metal, metal Cooler from conquering <laughs> Namek. We're going back, way back in the OG days of Dragon Ball Z, man. Yes, sir. Especially when they start getting into their movie bags, even though a lot of the movies weren't even canon mm -hmm. uh, to the storyline, it was still enjoyable to watch. So we're gonna check this out. Some raging for five minutes, of course. We would love to check that out, man. And I ain't gonna hold you. I've been catching up on all all of the old Dragon Ball Z episodes that I did <laughs> miss. Um, and I've been just going through them, breezing every now and then, and and watching them, man. So uh, love the storyline. <clears throat> childhood favorite man you already know what time it is so can't go wrong with some dragon ball z so about to get into this mug under the like subscribe let go oh code name super shout yeah, out to the homie bro he, 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 he didn't start a wave of videos of yeah. this kind so a lot of people are doing the same things like him so shout out to the homie man show him some love for sure let's do it yeah now we really got to talk about cooler's return he has me weak bro got cooked in the first movie and came back yep. to be a decepticon with shadow clones yep. basically ultron and the thing about that is clones. now if you get cooked you got nobody to blame because it's a whole bunch of yous you're really just gonna have to take <laughs> your L's and say ggs and walk off but shit really starts off with goku and his crew heading off to namek but they look at the screen and see that someone already has their mittens on it and look at that guy piccolo he in this bitch like he about to suit up i suit the fuck up in this bitch and I'd be just like him because Frieza and his brother are running shit on Namek like Hobie and Shaq. See, if I'm Piccolo, I'm becoming Mr. Miyagi or the Namekian Batman. Like, shit, bro, he gotta have some type of legacy for the Namekians because they don't deserve this. They're literally beyond right. vegan. Their diet is straight water and ice and they what can't box that? for shit. They're the definition of what, what I do. I do? You know Cooler really a villain when he got the elderly doing the 100 meter dash. Bro out there running like it's that one Spongebob episode where they call Texas stupid. And uh, yeah. Sandy was out there chasing him down. Look at him. He needs a hero. Someone please. He gets oh, dragged man. in front of the Namekians. And one of them in the line was like, that's, that's a, a great, great idea. idea. Fuck this walking shit. Hits his fake ass feet and gets dragged too. So after watching his people get cooked, oh. Piccolo's twin said, nah, fuck that. Takes the handcuffs with no chains and breaks out of it. And look how son hit the roll out the line. Yeah, with the pull up like that, he gotta be a part of Piccolo's immediate family. Shit was so clean, I almost believed he was about to do something. But nah, he flies over there and this bot catches him one handed and he just tosses him down. His coldness was short lived, now he in that Fortnite knock position. Someone hit him a med kit. The bot's getting ready to thirst him. But right as he fires at him, Gohan pulls up and knocks the beam out the way, creating the smoke and getting him out of there. And this is when I knew there was going to be a bunch of IG flicks in this movie for Goku. Because when the smoke clears, his ass is just what? standing there. Staring. <laughs> and honestly, it was so clean, not even Krillin could ruin the moment. Look at him, putting up the deuce when we know he's not going to put in pain. Cooler sitting there unimpressed because he knows he got a better intro though. Peep game. He summons the army to line up and they all spawn in left and right. And then Cooler's going to come in and part them like the Red Sea. He's walking in and he's just straight up listening. Look like he dipped himself in movie theater butter. He even had Piccolo like, nah. What is that? That luster. That luster. The time for introductions are over. They are ready for the boxing to commence. Cooler sends his army of bots to go attack. And I want you to guess out of these three who gets cooked first. I'll give you a hint. He's bald and short. Piccolo and Gohan take off just fine, but when Krillin does it, they sit his ass down immediately. Yeah, the scriptwriters are in the studio straight giggling. Knew from this point on, his ass was about to be comic relief. Not even Gohan, who spawned in seven years ago, got sat down like that. He's out there putting up a better performance, hitting attacks and dodging. He didn't do any damage, but hey, at least he's not out there eating rocks like Krillin. They got three on Piccolo right now, and there's clearly a malfunction in their program. Cause no way they gave Piccolo three, and Krillin got four bodies. Let's be serious. Yeah. He must have mistaken Brody for One Punch Man or something. I know they could look alike from afar, but come on now. That is simply not him. Krillin tries to cook with what little screen time he has left, and it's not looking good. The bots who have Kawhi Leonard's personality downloaded are just looking at him with disappointment. So yeah, his performance is looking bad right now, but Piccolo ain't safe either. Cause the same shit happens to him and he's just like, nah. And then the cameraman gets mad close to him to document that embarrassing moment. Piccolo wanted to tell him to back up so bad. That shit had him sweating, so he had to think of something fast to get rid of the embarrassment. So he went to old reliable, threw off the turban and cape like it was the problem. What did I do? The camera pans to go on though, and it's looking like he's about to keep that losing record right. on Namek. Go on getting smacked around with that green background is all too familiar. Krillin's also getting his shit rocked though as he crashes into Gohan. So Piccolo's just like, shit, I might as well join him. But he didn't get bitched or anything like Gohan and 
Krillin. He just slowly descends down. He has something to say to Krillin, though. He just like, hey, Krillin, not gonna lie. They're putting four on you and three on me is ludicrous. Man, stop hating me. <laughs> this is where Krillin internally screamed as Piccolo flies away to cook the Kawhi Leonard's. And he's out there taking multiple out at a time. Had me saying, my fault, OG. OG. Maybe it was the cape and turban. Yeah. If that's what it takes to make a move like that, that better be a mid-game power-up animation for Piccolo and Sparky Zero. As Piccolo is cooking up, we see science at play. The simple law of motion creates more motion. And now all of a sudden, they have the ability to catch a body too. <laughs> Shit didn't last long, though, as Most we see they could have hang. They get captured in sense of which basically made shit easier for Piccolo. He was out there shrieking, got 30 kills without dying, so he unlocked the tactical nuke. And now that Krillin and Gohan are gone, he can unleash it. Treats the whole area like how the Avengers treat New York, and fucking boom. Whole area done. Look at the crater this man left. He absolutely made sure he didn't get dropped in this movie, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but now it's time for the main course. Goku versus Cooler in yeah. that shiny rarity. It starts off with Cooler catching Goku's punch. And yeah, my boy coming in different this time. He ain't come here to play. That performance in that last <laughs> movie was absolutely disappointing. Mm -hmm. Man's had a whole new form just to still get worked by Super Saiyan. They start throwing him <laughs> in an invisible elevator though. And Goku finds an opening and grabs his tail. As he throws him, he lets out a little giggle. <laughs> <laughs> which causes Cooler to get enraged and start chasing him down. This was all a part of Goku's plan though. Bait him and catch him Ooh, off guard. But once he hits him, he notices Cooler is not phased and knew that smirk couldn't mean anything good. So he tried to keep that Cobra Kai mentality of striking first and it's clearly not working. Cooler Cobra felt Kai. bad so he had to hit him with the stop. This isn't you. <laughs> Treating his ass like a loose man. He then proceeds to give him a mean three-piece combo with no biscuit. Starting it off with a knee, making Goku hit the Iron Man. Then he hits him with a gut check, stretching his back out, paws, and spikes him to the ground. That boy Goku hit the floor Damn. like, When I came down. <laughs> Cooler didn't oh, care about man. the pain he was okay. feeling though. Up in the They're finishing clear. room, two minutes into the fight, and throws it at him. But Goku's not dying in two minutes though, we know this. He not sorry. Uses instant transition to get up behind him, and he's posted up like the boogeyman. He starts yapping and flexing that he learned this new technique called instant transmission. And Cooler just like, oh, you thought you was special? I could do that shit too. Those words had Goku perplexed. He wasn't ready to get hit with his own move. He came up and smacked the taste out of his mouth. Had Goku contemplating if he's really like that. He gets yeah, kicked up and makes too. Cooler turn at the uh, Madam Web audience. So he can do that Goku too. Tries to yeah, he definitely hit that shit. He was like, wait, this nigga know how to do instant trick. Oh, smack. Snapping back. And the point of this whole exchange is that they're spamming instant transmission. But shit just looks like normal Dragon Ball Z. Nothing changed. All they did was step back. And I guess whoever was writing the script understood that. So they decided to give them their own version of the speed force. Which is why they got this infrared look. I'm crying. They think this flash versus zoom. Look at Cooler <laughs> even hitting the full flash form. He catches up to Goku, takes him out the animation, and uses his head to break the rock in front of him. Then he tosses him away and goes up to hit him with that knee of justice. And I thought he did it too for a second. This frame had him looking crazy, but instead it was revealed that he caught that shit and uses it to reintroduce Super Saiyan. Even Cooler had to take a step back to admire the view. This gotta be some type of glazing. But now it's time for Goku. And I'm gonna be honest, when I watched this for the first time, I was fully expecting a fifth form metal cooler to show up, but they really just didn't do it. Hopped in that rider's room and said, nah, they're boxing though. And Goku gets a clean ride in, but again, it was ineffective. Cooler then proceeds to kick him out the frame. And look at that form, bro. Yeah, not gonna lie, don't ever invite him to a kickball game. With a form like that, he uh, launching that shit straight to orbit. Even me, a retired Hall of Fame kickball player at recess, can't compete with that. But yeah, Goku's flying off, and Cooler chases him down. And then he pulls out the forbidden move, hits him with the spirit of me, pushing him through the rocks. And Goku's just like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. And he came back on a mission. Keep the game face. Cooler tries to block, and Goku breaks right through, severing his arm and giving him the superhero ass frame. Goku said, Hold on, I ain't done yet though. I gotta hit this landing too. And rolls right into the fighting <laughs> stage. <laughs> there was no time for celebration though. Cause Cooler regenerates like a symbiote made out of vibranium. Completely rebuilding his arm from scratch. Crazy. Yeah, bro. I don't want to see a universe where Dr. Zero and Cooler link up. Because if they get in that lab together, they'd make the most OP character in history. Might even surpass Boo and what bullshit it could do. 
the camera pans up and we see bro is just randomly glistening again and that's another bad sign for goku catches him off guard with the tp and aims right for the stun he started turning into spongebob as he flips him over and sees him grabbing his leg and tossing him away goku hits the smooth recovery though holding on to that attack stance like it was gonna change the outcome yeah that shit ended up being a slight inconvenience delay cooler's attack for one second then he's just like <laughs> but anywho and gets the blast goku's clean with the block stuff reflecting bro. everything and get him right up in his grill goku did all that for nothing though and starts to get choked out by cooler that boy goku needed to hear him and thankfully vegeta decided to get out the house in this movie because goku would have been cooked came in and kicked the shit out of him had his face looking crazy and he got him leaning but the hatred was at an all-time high for vegeta here this cool ass intro was all we're gonna get from him and yeah. you know what bro i've made my peace with that shit was basically over as soon as it started go super saiyan talk some shit runs in and gets boxed shit is like clockwork that's crazy dog did Vegeta like that, bro? All the time, bro. Nigga come in, talk shit, and get his ass beat, and then Goku has to save the day. Ah, that's crazy. Ah, shit, they've been doing that for decades, bro. They've recently somewhat have done Vegeta a little bit more justice in the you know updated manga and stuff. They started him off dirty with the edge up. Yeah. <laughs> but you know Vegeta, man. They don't let him go down in one hit. They make him suffer and embarrass himself. He comes back in with all this energy, lands two kicks, and gets hit with the WWE takedown, putting him in excruciating pain. And Goku couldn't sit there and watch anymore. As much as he knows Vegeta loves his ones, he just had to save him. Kicks Cooler out the way before he blasts him. And in this frame, you could really see how Cooler's a fiend. Look at him. He's already up and running to sleep Vegeta. The hatred runs deep. Not even Goku back up. He's still recovering from his last save. Cooler enters the instant transmission dimension. And we see he was really trying to give Vegeta that cartoon bump on his head. But Goku's clutch. He gets him into the animation and has him tackled on the floor. And I'm not going to hold you. This frame is looking crazy. I'm going to need a big pause on that one. Hey, yo. And damn. Goku's really a great teammate. Back to back saves. It's kind of tough. If I was cooler, I'd be angry as hell because I just missed out on two kill opportunities. But guess who's the angriest out of all of them? Vegeta, the one that got saved. Yeah. He just like, hey, fuck both y'all. Had Goku on his 50 cent shit. They both dip out of there because clearly this man got seen. <laughs> Good thing you say. I want to say what you say. <laughs> He's about to blast both of them. She's a fucking asshole. And I'm not even mad that Cooler spun the block in 0.2 seconds to kick him. He ends up punching him straight to Goku. And oh no, nah, look at how vile this frame really is. Nah, Son is can't wild. even take a regular L. Like this is really some next level violation. The writers made sure he can never win a group chat argument ever again. Cooler hits him with the silent finisher though. Sends Diddy miss across and it ends up in a huge Diddy explosion. Missed. And after that attack, Cooler's just off in the distance walking in slow motion. Bro thinks he's in the edit. Goku turns to Vegeta and looks at him like this. And right then and there is when it was official. His ass is getting jumped. They fly at him full speed with this power of friendship ass attack and it breaks him into three pieces. But of course, the regeneration starts to kick in. And this is where the most unexpected thing in Dragon Ball happened. Vegeta decides to key spam him and it actually worked. It blew the metal cooler to smithereens. This shit was almost too Damn. good to be yeah. true. They hit this finally it's over ass fall. But little did they know that it wasn't over. Goku, who's on like 2 HP, looks up and sees that there's another metal cooler. Alive and well. Just up there posing for the gram. They all walk up simultaneously and they just start blinging in the distance. Shit was scary as hell. Looking like round 200 and COD zombies. But instead it's just a bunch of VVS coolers. I'ma be honest, at this VBS. point I was full on glazing. I was out my seat standing and staring at the TV. I thought I was about to witness cinema. Look at how they're sliding down. Had me fully convinced this was going to be an endgame type fight. Goku and Vegeta hit the double Super Saiyan. And we saw all this theatrical shit for not even one punch to be thrown. It was really just a flash and they ended up in Diddy's dungeon. Like, bro, y'all got to be trolling. No way y'all just pump fake the whole audience like that. And they didn't make up for it either. Now, I'm not saying I watch Dragon Ball movies for the plot. But damn, bro, did y'all even try? Cooler starts taking energy from Goku and Vegeta. And somehow, this big ass ship can't handle it. Look at this. This is damn near half the planet. And you're telling me it doesn't have the capacity for two Saiyans? 
it starts breaking down and they get free and cooler didn't like that one bit so he goes for the septicon and starts chasing after goku punching him and then trapping him in wires he's trying to turn goku into mince meat but then out of nowhere a destructo disc comes along and cuts cooler's arm off and not for one second did i believe that hero was krillin we see that it's Vegeta making my hitting ass right, and Goku breaks free. He then takes a small yellow key ball, throws it at him, and destroys him once and for all. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you Damn, for crazy. k We moving. That's how they ended, bro. That's wild, bro. Shout out to the homie for getting for 190k, man. He for sure, for sure. Mill now, but shout out to the homie. But that's crazy. Mm -hmm, that's I'll hot. That's how that movie ended, bro. <laughs> well, so don't watch this one. Gotcha. Appreciate you, man. Uh, <laughs> but hey, I already watched it pretty much. You, what did it? Hey, the there you go. I like these videos. I can get straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need the beginning, plot, middle, ending. Come on. That's what I need. That's it. But now, nah, appreciate y'all for joining. As usual, if y'all enjoyed it and want us to check out some more, make sure you run up the like, subscribe. Go check out the homie as well. The links to the original video is down below. So go show him some love. Go support him. Keep spreading love. Be love. Catch y'all on the next. Peace out. Already. The bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.